Yes, people, we are back with another Football Manager video. You guys have been asking for this one all over the Twitch. I'm not going to lie, you lot have been catting for these set pieces. So right now, I have the best Football Manager 24 set pieces for you guys. If you've been in my Twitch streams, then you know already that my set pieces have been going crazy. And this one right here, you guys are definitely going to watch it and understand how these set pieces work and why they are so effective. But before we get into that, guys, make sure you are leaving a like right now. Make sure to subscribe. And also to comment, this does help the algorithm push me out to more people. I do appreciate all the support. I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys are doing that up right now. Also, make sure you are checking out all the social media platforms. The TikTok, the Twitter, and the Twitch. Where I'm streaming Football Manager Monday to Friday, 4pm. Like I said, the vibes over on the Twitch are insane. You guys will love the streams. So make sure you are heading over there. The link is in the description right now. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. And join up the discord man but let's stop wasting time and let's get into the breakdown of my football manager 24 best set pieces let's go so here we are we have tested these set pieces with inter milan and a few other teams this is a tactic test actually that you guys will see on the youtube soon but however i have used the set pieces just to see how effective they are and as you can see we go straight into the league table go to team stats and go straight into the breakdown as you can see goals from corners we have inter milan with 14 goals from corners this season so exactly doing what it needs to do obviously there are throw ones throw ones are very very good on fm24 i'm not gonna lie especially if you know what you're doing when you are setting them out throw ones are very good and also short corners as well obviously the short corners will not count from goals from corners because it would be an open play but well, you guys will see this when i explain it anyways and the next team we have used these set pieces with are also in League 2, League 2, League 1, whatever you want to call it. However, if we go straight into the breakdown of the league, go to the team stats. And as you can see, once again, goals from corners, they are top of the list with 12 goals from corners this season. And if you move into the indirect free kicks, you can see they are top as well with four goals scored from indirect free kicks. So that's 16 goals from set pieces. This does not count the throw-ins. Listen, people. These throw-ins are crazy, so you're going to see anyways, man. But let's move over. Now, I will show you guys some of these goals so you can see exactly how these set pieces look and how they will look when your team is taking them. So let's get straight into that right now. And here we have it. Kali Hanglu whips it in, and the Serbi gets up and wins the header. And here we have another corner. DeMarco whips it in. Rebound, passes, Turam whacks it in, bro. Next goal, we got a free kick. Whips it back post and Bastoni wins that. We've got DeMarco on a free kick. Whips it back post and Pavard wins the header. And here we have a throw-in. Like I said, these throw-ins are very overpowered, people. Look at that. Quick football. Varela slaps it. And this one you can see is a deep free kick. He finds Turam in space and Turam whacks it and makes it 1-0. And here we have a corner. Kalianglu, edge of the box. Varela whacks it and it's 1-0. And we have another corner goal. Kalianglu to the edge of the box. Barella passes it and then Quadrado bangs it home, man. And once again, we have another throw in. Carlos finds DiMarco back to Carlos. Puts it in the mixer and Dumfries gets the header. I told you guys how OP the throw-ons are. Look at this right here. Carlos throws it. Finds DiMarco short back to Carlos. Whips it. Nope. Passes it to Barella. Barella back post. Dumfries. Alexis Sanchez on the ball. Back in the middle and DiMarco gets a goal. And next we have a short corner. Finds DiMarco, DiMarco whips it back post and Carlos gets the goal. And another throw in, DiMarco finds Mkhitaryan, Mkhitaryan to Barella, DiMarco back post. There you go, quick tap in for Turam. Another throw in, I told you guys about these throw ins, Quadrado whips it in and Carlos gets it back to DiMarco. DiMarco on the ball and slaps it home. We've got another throw in right here, Damian finds Quadrado back to Damian, back to Quadrado, Quadrado. Gets a deflection and it's in, man. I've told you a lot about this, bro. Then we've got DeMarco with a short free kick and then whack and it's in. And like I told you guys, these set pieces are OP. I could show you guys so many more goals. There's literally about 20 more on my list to show you. But I feel like we've done enough here anyways. But before we move into the breakdown of these set pieces, people, make sure you are leaving a like right now. Make sure to comment and to also subscribe. This does help me push out to more people on the algorithm. I do appreciate all the love and all the support. Also, guys, make sure that you are following all the social media platforms, the TikTok, the Twitter, and the Twitch, where I'm streaming Football Manager Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. As I said, the vibes are insane and the vibes are lit. We are currently with QPR. We just finished the fifth season. No, we just finished the fourth season with QPR. 
and we are in the Champions League in our second season in the Prem. It's crazy. So make sure you're coming over there and joining over on the vibes. Like I said, make sure you join the Discord and also check out the Patreon. But let's stop wasting time and let's get into the breakdown of my best Football Manager 24 set pieces. Let's go. So here we are with the set pieces. Obviously, we are not looking at defensive set pieces. These are attacking ones to get the most goals. But let's get straight into it. So first up for the corner, there are two set pieces I use on the corner. I'm going to show you guys how you guys can differentiate them and change the frequency of them. So the first one is an in-swinger corner. Then you choose your best corner taker, obviously, on there. Or just tell your assistant to assign the best one. And then we are aiming for the near post. I've been using this near post thing since FM22. And it's still doing quite well. We are aiming for the near post, as you can see. Well, you can't really see, actually. But what makes it better is that you are able now in FM24 to actually add a second corner tactic that makes it very different or you could even add a third it's up to you but i only use two at the moment and for the second corner routine this one right here is an outswinger corner and doesn't matter about the corner takeoff and this one is aim short so basically what it is is you'll see the player come short receive the ball and then the creative players will be around and try and pop it around the opposition and then find the opening either by themselves going for goal or they will actually try and just shoot or cross it or whatever it literally just depends on the scenario but it's very different and i love that they added this feature to fm24 now once you have obviously added both tactics you can click this drop down arrow and go to modify routine frequency so as you can see my first one which is aimed to near post i do more often and then the second one which is a short corner i do average obviously a lot of people would say make it sh less often but personally i want to mix up the frequency a lot more so we are going with average here and this is literally what i do for my corners next we go down to free kicks obviously you click set pieces right here corners go down to free kicks and then shooting range there's nothing you can do there your free kick taker is going to take the free kick but in terms of the wide free kick this is where it gets different right now once again we have set two set pieces on this so the first one is an in swing and set piece and we have told him to aim for the best header of the ball so we haven't gone near post we haven't gone far post wherever the aerial threat is in the box that's where i want you to aim for just aim for the guy's head pause whoa 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 don't aim for his head but yeah you know what i'm trying to say anyways whoa 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 anyways in terms of the second routine as you can see right here it is an in swinger as well but this time we have told him to aim short so like you saw on one of the free kicks is that there was a player on the edge of the box waiting for the ball as you can see right here well you can't because my head's in the way but anyways he's aimed right here waiting for the ball and the guy will fake it like he's gonna pass it into the box but then he'll pass it to the edge of the box and then that guy can do what he wants to do either he'll create an opportunity for someone else or he'll take a shot but that is literally it in terms of that when you go over to the drop down menu once again you go back to modify routine frequency and as you can see i've done the exact same thing i've gone with more often on my first one and then on my second one i've actually made it average now if you go back to set pieces and you go to free kicks again there is a deep free kick as well and for this one we have told him to aim for the best head of the ball once again so literally wherever he is in the box just aim for him that's all we want and we go over into the second free kick tactic and as you can see we have actually told him to aim short so he is not going to cross the ball, but he's going to go short. So usually that would be a sideways pass, as you can see right here. Sometimes the person might be here, so it might play there. Or it could be here and it might play it there as well. It just depends on the scenario and where the openings are. In terms of the frequency, obviously, you go over to modify routine frequency once again. We've done the same thing. More often on the first one and on the second one, we have done average now finally we move over into the throw ones they have literally switched up the way the throw ones move in this game it's absolutely beautiful i'm loving it right now literally i've scored so many goals from throw ones this year if he was in my qpr save on twitch where he was there bro it was literally ridiculous we weren't scoring any goals from open play we was only scoring goals from throw ones and corners so trust me when i say these throw ones are insane those are the defensive third we haven't done nothing different we have kept out retain possession some people will probably want to work the line but me personally i want to keep the ball from a throw on i don't want to just throw the ball and it gets to the opposition i'd rather retain possession we move over into the middle third and in the middle third we have done the same thing once again i want to keep possession i don't want to lose the ball so retain possession 
and finally the attacking third the most crucial ones and this one we have put work into the box obviously you do need players that are good and able to create opportunities but it will always draw your attacking creative players towards the ball when you're taking throw ones and they will just work the magic honestly but make sure you're signing players that have got good flair as well especially and good dribbling and also some good crossing because those will help when you are trying to get the ball into the box or create opportunities from these throw ones but people i hope these set pieces have helped you and i hope you guys are going to dominate your leagues using set pieces now make sure you are also signing big aerial threats because these will help as well don't forget people to leave a like make sure you comment and subscribe and like i said i'll see you guys over on the twitch where the vibes are absolutely lit bro you guys will enjoy the streams make sure you get over there right now don't forget you can download the set pieces in the description right now as well but I'll see you guys over on the next Football Manager video. Love people, man.